Welcome back. The city of Fond du Lac has several options for handling animal calls in 2024. The city has finalized contracts with several humane officer organizations to provide animal control services. Critter Junction, Lucky Dog and Sandy Paws provide services such as taking custody of stray and abandoned dogs and cats and attempting to reunite pets with their owners. And the fourth organization, the Fond du Lac Humane Society, will continue in its contract to house stray and abandoned animals as well. And to talk more about this, we're joined by Fond du Lac City Manager Joe Moore. Joe, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Last year, with you. yeah, last year there was a bit of news with the city's contract with the Humane Society expiring. Can you kind of take us back to what happened at the end of last year? Yeah, about a year ago, we found that uh, there was a significant gap between what uh, we wanted to pay for animal control services and what the Humane Society was asking to be paid. And so we navigated those differences from about a year ago through the end of February, and at which time, uh, shortly thereafter, we entered into a new contract with them for the balance of 2023. And shortly thereafter, we also entered some arrangements with some of those nonprofit volunteer organizations that you referenced earlier. Right. And 24 7 care was a big issue for Fond du Lac, right? You wanted to be able to access care 24 7. Sure. We, uh, find that oftentimes uh, we find stray pets uh, in, in inconvenient hours, you know, late in the evening when police officers are on the road or responding to calls for from somebody who's having seen an animal at large or on the weekends. And, um, you know, that happens because people are outdoors a lot with their pets and the pets may, may get loose and, and run away. So what we were really wanting to emphasize is more capability in those after hours, those inconvenient hours where we could help people reunite with their pets and also when, when the need called for it to arrange for a facility access for, for those animals in case they needed overnight accommodations. Okay, so that can be very stressful for a family who maybe had their dog or their cat get out and on a weekend, as you mentioned. So I assume with this uh, contract with all of these different partners, four different partners really, that mm -hmm. that will make things a little bit, uh, run a little bit more smoothly for you. I, I think so. And, and I think the other thing too is that uh, with, with social media being such an important component of this, when somebody has seen a, a stray animal and reported it on social media, uh, one of these entities will most likely see that because word of mouth has helped educate people about who they can contact, who the experts are, who might be able to come and, and pick up that loose dog or cat. Meanwhile, there may be somebody who's lost that animal that's also on social media and people are making connections that way. So if we have one of these rescue organizations who has taken possession of the animal, it really facilitates the reunification of the animal and the owner and avoids and, di and essentially diverts the animal from going into the facility, waiting on an owner to come there, sort of like a, in a lost or found situation. This reunification via social media and a lot of volunteer effort is is a big change and a big help too. Yeah, I, I definitely have seen that on my own social media feeds. Uh, people will say I saw a stray or somebody is looking for this cat or whatever. So it has changed the game for you. Uh, any reason mm -hmm. why these specific organizations stepped up or did you reach out to them to partner? Are there any reasons why they are your partners now? Well, in 2023, we, we learned a lot about capabilities in the communities, in, in our community, for example, with these nonprofit organizations that have a real aspiration to, to serve animals and to serve their owners. We had never really leaned on them before in the way that we did in the latter part of 2023 because we learned uh, last winter that we needed some more capability and some uh, wider range of providers. That's when we really started uh, to appreciate how much activity these, these nonprofit pet organizations and these rescue organizations are supporting already our community. It was a matter then of 
us partnering with them more formally and then figuring out how to compensate them when they were doing work on behalf of the city in helping reunify stray animals, stray pets with, with their owners. And so that was the focus of our efforts the last couple of months is to really determine a uniform way to compensate everybody who's involved in the rescue of animals, whether they're dogs or cats, whether or not they're staying overnight with one of the rescues or whether they're being reunified right away. What does all of that pricing look like so that it's uniform across the board? We're not trying to leverage anybody's goodwill. We're trying to compensate people reasonably for that across the board. Sounds like you have a really strong plan going into 2024. We appreciate you joining us this afternoon. That's Fond du Lac City Manager Joe Moore. We appreciate it. Thanks, Joe. Thank you.